I'm not crazy, right? At the end of the episode when Rudy was crying in front of the fireplace, that was the holy relic, Roxy's panties, right? It's supposed to be such an emotional, deep scene of Rudy trying to, like, get past his current loneliness. And the only person he has any connections to is Roxy. Through her fucking panties! I'm like, bro, are you serious? I, I, I don't even know. It's supposed to be like a sentimental moment, but I'm like, I can't take this shit seriously. But the pacing of the last episode is so good. No more emo Rudy. He's actually back and ready at it. This is so good. I thought they would kind of like extend this emo arc and it kind of would drag along. But no, one episode done. Our boy is back. What are we going to do from here on out? Let's find out today's reaction. Is this morning cardio? Tindalos and Baskerville are his kneecaps? Is he going crazy? <laughs> this reminds me of Yo Mushi Paddle. There's a guy that names his pecs Andy and Frank. <laughs> Damn, he's... Yo! He's getting kind of swole, right? You wanna, you wanna create good rapport. Okay. Hulk and... <laughs> he's going crazy. Oh, that it's the panties! It's the sacred relic! Every morning does he do this? Oh my god! I can't! It's a fucking panties, bro! What the fuck? Step the leader. Judging by his voice tone and his haircut, you can already tell he's kind of a douchebag, right? Don't judge a book by its cover, but look at his haircut, man. I don't know. <laughs> Stepped leader though, huh? Okay. Be mindful of that party. Quagmire. That's... That's... Quagmire? That's his, like, I don't know, different alias he goes by now? Quagmire? I'm just thinking family guy, giggity. The panties again, bro! I can't with this dude! Is anyone noticing that he has fucking panties he's praying to? But Quagmire, an awkward, complex, or hazardous situation. Interesting. Sarah! What's she up to? Maybe she's getting a little close to Rudy or getting some kind of attachment? The first human demon war. Does this go back to the spear, the demon Laplace, and the, the cursed spears? I forget how all that worked out. Hmm? Hmm? Oh, careful! Demon eyes! So good, so good. Hey, the hand placement there, though. Yeah, that's right on her right. <laughs> Do you think that was intentional? A hey, saved her, but... Usually, in those situations, the girl would just slap the shit at the guy, but... Because she didn't, I'd like to think that Sarah is, you know, liking Rudy a little bit more. The girl that gave us the demon eyes. She was a demon god, right? <laughs> it's just her tits? <laughs> Where's her face? Yeah, I hear some dragon noises, right? Is, there, is that a drake? Oh, there they are. It wouldn't be fun if it was just normal harvesting, right? Incantation is magic! Rudy hard carrying, man. If Rudy wasn't here, do you think this party would have survived? Maybe? Probably? Maybe some casualties? They all leave? Did they all just leave Rudy behind? Maybe it's better? You know, no one would get in the way so he can just go all out? The panties again, bro! <laughs> what is this? Your lucky shot? Oh, Sarah's still here. I love how he has to do the entire incantation every time. It was just so funny last episode because he said the same thing like five times over and over. I thought they just left us, but all right, good to know. All right, all right. Whoa. Wait. Oh, it's this dude again. What was the stepped leader or something? Damn. All right. I don't know what level swordsmanship he is, but he looks pretty strong. I'm not gonna lie. Like between. Magic using and like martial arts, like swordsmanship. I would like to be a swordsmanship, like it's that kind of route in this show. I think magic swords would be really cool, but I don't know. Something about the animation of swordsmanship is so cool. What the fuck, bro? 
Weren't we here first? Yo, fuck him up. Fuck him up. No, you didn't! Only Rudy saw it! What are you this That's not a public announcement? I mean, he did kind of hear it. But that's not really fair. Dude, he's not getting up after that punch. I think he's knocked out. Timothy is gonna be the bigger man and just say it's fine, huh? He's too good. Fuck this guy, man. No, Sarah, shoot the bow! Are you gonna say sorry, motherfucker? Look at Timothy! Giving you the benefit of the doubt. Giving you such, such a charitable, you know, view on this. Like... Alright, I guess he apologized. All right. I think we should get to punch him back, though. Fuck that guy. Timothy is too good for this world! Fuck that guy, man. I don't like him at all. I'm surprised he apologized, though. <laughs> that, that was actually out of pocket. I thought he'd be like, no, fuck you, but... Hmm. Kind of sensible. Oh, why is that, Sarah? You want us to drink with you? Really? Huh, I thought you hated us, Sarah. Hmm. Perhaps she's getting a little attached to Rudy is. Lucky bitch, we fucking helped you up <laughs> before you tripped. <laughs> Oh, hey, you can't say that. That kind of implies that Sarah cares more. <laughs> I have a feeling at this rate, Sarah's like, I, I think she's already not fallen for him, but she really likes him. But like in the future, like we're going to have to depart from this place. We might break Sarah's heart. In fact, in the trailer, wasn't there a moment where there was Rudy and Sarah like one to one and Sarah kind of looked like sad or crying? I, I have a feeling she, he's going to break her heart. Uh, he's a little drunk right now. You want to fight? Want to fight, motherfucker? Oh, he is drunk, drunk. Hey, you hitting on Suzanne? You gonna apologize again? It's a sorry coming, yeah? I okay, it's hard to. I think he's actually a good guy. He's apologized twice now. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, <he's> the... <laughs> How are you gonna say sorry to say I fucking hate your face? <laughs> nah, I think Timothy was being the bigger man, bro. You're being a you're he that's classic little bro syndrome. Timothy is the big bro here. So mature. <laughs> huh? What? Mm. Why? Why? Bro, we're trying to find her mom. Fuck you, dude. What do you think it is? Maybe there's some truth there? I don't know. Would Rudy ever look down on people like that? I don't know. Maybe he's looking past, you know, Rudy is, but more thinking of, like, you know, the other, like, human Rudy. Like, you could say that that was just, like, babbling of a drunk man, but I wonder if there's any truth behind that statement. Yo, we've been training. We've been doing push-ups. Come on. That's kind of hard to, like, blame him, because this is, like, everybody needs money to survive. Little does he know what Rudy has to go through, but you can tell that... This guy is also struggling, and he's just like lashing out, which is not right. It's kind of hard to hate him, because he sounds like he's struggling a lot too. But yeah, fuck that guy. Rudy, keep... Stop smiling and fuck him up! Ah! I'm not a good man. I'm not a patient man. I am not a Timothy man. I just fucking sucker punched that guy too. You again?! Fuck you! Did you sober up? You gonna apologize again? <laughs> Don't tell me he's gonna apologize again. I have a feeling we're gonna party up with this guy, aren't we? Why would they show so much screen time of him, right? If not for us working together later. Hmm? What? 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 Not hurt, right? No! What? You... Okay. <laughs> I shouldn't be happy that Mimir is dead. I'm just glad that Sarah is not confirmed dead, but what the fuck? <laughs> I'm pretty fucked up. <laughs> you know what the worst thing is? I don't even know who Mimir is. <laughs> oh god, I'm terrible. I think it's the green haired dude, right? Yeah, I think it's the green haired dude. <laughs> 
I'm a terrible person. <laughs> but yeah, where's Sarah? He's really heading out to save Sarah? That's fucking insane. This is godlike power. Dude, a snow blizzard that everyone was like, we can't go out there. And he just fucking dispels it. Nah, get that shit out of here. This power. I was saying how I like the swordsmanship more, but man, magic. Magic has built this. That's still there. Holy shit. But. <laughs> Be so casual about everything. Did he just move by using wind magic to propel him into dodge? There she is. Ooh. This is trees, man. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Did you just realize? <laughs> We're trying to heal you, okay? We're not even interested in your panties. We got Roxy's panties. Yeah, they're good, but Mimir is... Rest in peace, Mimir. I barely knew you. What's she fidgeting for? Huh. A thank you, maybe? What? What is this, Sarah? Oh? What, what was that? No, she almost went for it. You know in like a rom-com where the guy walks away and the girl like grabs the sleeve of the guy like it pinches? I felt like that was that kind of moment. Oh, yeah? I smile. Okay. Okay. No worries. Rudy got it. Solo carry. Yeah. Just casually dis disperse the blizzard. No big deal. But he didn't. Protecting Rudy against Suzanne. Usually she's always in Suzanne's side, but nah. Yeah, as much as they've helped him, I mean, he's helped them, like, I think the counter arrow has really helped Rudy get over this, like, emo phase. Hmm? Oh, yo, she's totally changed. <laughs> Just so much smiling. She's never smiled at us before. I love you, maybe? What was that? What was that? You know what we should do? We should have Sarah wear the holy relic, dude. Nah, that'd be blasphemy. We can't do that. What a ladies man. He rescued Sarah. She is head over heels for Rudy now. I'm pretty sure she said I love you. Well, something along the lines of that at the end, right? It's still so funny how he fucking keeps the panties around. But like, how long are we going to stay here? We're just trying to build rapport so that we can try to extend the network to find Zenith. We can't stay here for long. And I'm pretty sure we do end up going to the school, the Magic Academy, to meet Sophie sooner or later. So I'm going to assume he's going to break Sarah's heart when we leave. <laughs> it's going to happen. Just be prepared. But hey, if you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.